uh, okay um, uh, today I just wanna um, it's actually it's my first tutorial so um, if I make any mistake I'm sorry about that uh, anyway um, today uh, I wanna show you guys uh, how to use ICX a pro built-in function that uh, could allow you to model stuff like um, uh, you could not uh, you know you're not gonna normally be able to use uh, uh, parametric uh, modeling um, so uh, the reason I made this tutorial is that um, people this is basically for the people who trying to learn pro e at home uh, by themselves um, it's a great tool to to know because ISTX basically mm -hmm. gonna help you to build the surfaces that um, is very unique and it's uh, and it's beautiful so anyway let's get it started mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, we'll go from there so the first thing is uh, I want to make a um, a uh, folder and I named that one uh, uh, practice or let me say um, what to name it uh, tutorial pro e tutorial Real, um, and I'm gonna save this one on my desktop and uh, next I'm gonna open the Pro E and I'm using Pro E Engineer Wildfire 4.0 and um, I'm sure you have this software if you're trying to learn it so anyway um, uh, first I need to do the first thing is always get to good habits and by setting your directory um, mine was uh, basically where I put that uh, okay um, Tutorials. Um, ah, damn it. Where is? Uh, okay, pro tutorial. Uh, now uh, my uh, my program is set to record everything on that uh, folder. So I'm gonna open a um, a new file, and uh, that's a part and solid. I just wanna name that uh, gas tank because that's what I'm gonna show you guys to how to make it beautiful gas tank and uh, using ISDX and I'm not gonna use default templates so I'm gonna go ahead uh, and check that radio button and press OK and go to I'm gonna go using uh, millimeter newton, newton seconds uh, isometric and uh, OK okay um, so now this is my part and uh, these are my datums and uh, so yeah um, the first thing you need to do is be can um, sketch using a sketcher uh, and uh, and I'm gonna pick the um, front view and right and launch the sketcher um, well I uh, kind of gonna put my center lines it's just uh, that's gonna help me a bit uh, so and then um, just gonna draw the um, rough outline of my uh, my um, sketch. And I'm gonna just put some lines. Okay. Okay. <coughs> okay. Um, not gonna care about dimension a lot. Um, it's good, but this just uh, gonna make it faster. And I could use uh, the SP line to draw my first curve, and that's that tool over there. Uh, I'm just basically gonna pick on this line, pick that one, and go come all over here and there. gonna go just go right there and uh, yeah that's it so exit this sketcher and that's my uh, first curve right there and the second curve will uh, gonna be <coughs> on top view a sketch and uh, here's the thing that um you need to always make sure that you pick your references because it's gonna be uh, it's gonna turn off my datum 
if I don't see them. And uh, so close. And yeah. Um, and uh, you can just put a box in here. And it's not doing that. Okay. And there. <coughs> Yeah, um, just gonna put a box in here, uh, like like that. Okay, and I'm gonna exit that. Just uh, another sketch. And um, at this point, you can uh, make another sketch just to to to, to make it uh, like the curves, the bottom curves. And uh, take your references again, make those references. Same thing again, you're gonna pick the uh, SD lines and snap there, make your first curve, come all the way out. Um, if you get these to be tangent, it would be good because an ISD is gonna be smooth surface rather than being uh, all Cranky, I would say. Hey, ah, oh, I hate this. Okay, anyway, um, so that's the best I could do right now. Just gonna get rid of that line I don't need, and same as this line. Okay, and those are my two curves. So this is m the outline of the gas tank, basically. Um, I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, okay. So yeah. Uh, so what if whatever we did so far, it was just creating the uh, very basic outline of our gas tank and um, what I need to do at this point is that uh, I'm gonna go do my styling so I'm gonna go to style and uh, this menu bar and okay uh, at this point um, the computer selected to, to be act my active plane to be the, the top so it's there I don't have to put that but in it's just the active plane it just sets the value in that plane if you want to draw some lines and stuff uh, next we're gonna pick this tool and uh, pr we press shift I don't know I'm not familiar with Macintosh so sorry about that if you're using Mac uh, you press shift and then select on the line and it snaps there and we put another line there and uh, we press the middle click on the mouse and then we select this line and that line and then we click on the plane and then uh, we double click on this point over here oh, sorry I kind of uh, okay oh, oh, again. oh okay so we close that and um, we just gonna double click at this point and then we're gonna go to tangent we're gonna put the tangency to be normal and uh, what it does is basically sets normal the tangent of that line to the datum you select the datum it's gonna be normal and then you select the bottom over here at this point uh, we want that to be free so we can move it around and um, for the next one you basically do the same thing you put uh, a uh, normal and then you select the bottom uh, uh, normal to the datum and you select the bottom and then uh, you pick uh, the free and uh, close so yeah this these are my curves right now and um, so what I need to do, um, we, I'm gonna go to the this surface, and then uh, I'm gonna pick the. Okay, here's the important thing that most people, when they first attempt this, not gonna work. So we're gonna give you really hard time. So I'm gonna give you the step right now. Uh, whatever create, uh, whatever I created outside these curves, they're called external curves. Um, okay, what's external curve and internal curve? Is that um, anything outside the ISDX you build before launching the surface model? You basically that's external curves. So do not mix those two up, because right now um, I need to select the, uh, the items uh, by first. Well, my you can as long you don't mix these curves with that while you're selecting, you're good. What order you pick it is important, but as long you don't pick them together and that's good so I'm gonna first press on control click this line that and that line 
and then I'm gonna get my big curve okay next because these are internal curves I have to select add item control click on that and then on that okay so the two are selected right now and I can see that curve is already built so it's successful so I'm just gonna press that so you can see that um, the curve is basically okay now you can go ahead manipulate the curve to, to get your shape uh, for example I'm gonna click on here and I get my handle and I just wanna pull this up and I wanna orient this uh, not bad not bad it's just that I'm gonna do this one a bit faster I'm just gonna go in over 10 minutes so yeah and uh, I just want to bring this one up a bit. So I can press it up, up. Yep. Good. And uh, yep, that's it. Uh, you can be more creative to build a bit smoother curves. That would be good. And uh, I'm not going to really focus on that, how to make it perfect. But anyway, um, so yeah, if that's your curves and it's built, press OK. If you like it, you can modify it more. Uh, and uh, and you can exit right now pressing this check mark basically you now you're out of your style box uh, what next you need to do is uh, since the gas tank is symmetrical to both sides so you can just click on the gas tank right here on the gas tank dot pod and you can use the mirror tool right here and then we select the front datum and it's gonna mirror it to the other side and um, that's it there you go and uh, what what last thing I need to show you that uh, these are these these two are right now they are not uh, uh, what do you say uh, they are not uh, merged what you, what you can do is you select the surface of one control create the sur surface of the second one and you go to edit and you press merge what the merge does it's merging these two section at once so let's say for example if you had another something in the bottom a plate it's gonna merge it to make it the bottom of the plate so I'm not gonna do that now so this is it uh, it might not gonna look a hundred percent like a gas tank but that's uh, you can you can perfect this if you uh, pay attention to dimensions and uh, work that out so I, uh, I hope you like this and uh, I hope this helped you a bit. Um, I know there's uh, many other tutorials online, but um, they never mention the problems that most people are going to face uh, when they're using ISDX. It's a bit of a hard concept to grasp on it. Once you get it, you're going to build lots of great stuff and uh, there are some limitations with it, but um, for most part, it's a great uh, tool to use and um, yeah go on from here and uh, good luck and make sure you comment about this and um, let me know how you did it if you have any problem you can uh, you can comment send me a message or something uh, I'll glad to make another tutorial or help you in some way and yeah this is the gas tank and uh, yeah okay thank you very much for watching and make sure you subscribe for more tutorials coming and of course my first tutorial about ProE and I'm kind of you know new so <laughs> uh, bear with me thank you